Okay, so this is how things are gonna go in this video. Uh, first, we are going to uh, install Jenkins on EC2, and then I'm gonna show you how to install CloudFormation plugin uh, in Jenkins, and then we are going to run a CloudFormation using the CloudFormation plugin, and then I'm also gonna show you another way to run CloudFormation, uh, which is using Jenkins pipeline, uh, which utilizes AWS CLI commands. Uh, so one thing to note on the Jenkins inst installations is I'm going to use uh, Marketplace AMI. So this video is also going to show you how you can use uh, AWS Marketplace. Um, so you can do these steps by yourself. Like you can spin up a EC2 manually and then SSH in, install Java, get the Jenkins package and all that stuff. However, uh, there is not really a real value in doing that. Uh, because the Jenkins uh, Marketplace AMI is free, you don't uh, pay anything for the software, um, so and it's much, much uh, simpler to use. Okay, so we have a lot in our plate, uh, let's get started. Okay, I am in my trusty console, so I'm going to type in uh, Marketplace, uh, and then we're going to click AWS Marketplace Subscriptions, then we are going to click uh, Manage Subscriptions, uh, then click Discover Products. Okay, let's search for uh, Jenkins. Okay, Jenkins certified by Bitnami. Don't worry about this rating too much because there are only two people uh, who rated it. Okay, and you can see this is a free tier. And this, don't worry about this price uh, because this price is hosted on t3a.small. Uh, so basically, you are not paying for this Jenkins because Jenkins is open source. You are basically paying for this t3a.small, uh, but we are going to um, use t2 uh, micro. So if you click this pricing, uh, you can scroll down a little bit and you can see that the actual software costs uh, nothing. And uh, like, like this says, EC2 charges for micro instances are free for up to 750 hours a month if you qualify for the AWS free tier. Um, so, okay, so uh, let's go up and click continue to subscribe. Okay, let's accept terms. Okay, so uh, it's done. Uh, and then let's click continue to configuration. Okay, so it's gonna give you the Amazon machine image and all that stuff. Ubuntu is fine. Uh, I just keep the default one, region, Virginia. Okay, then we're gonna click continue to launch. Uh, don't worry, I know um, it says t3a.small, uh, but this click doesn't spin up the instance. Uh, once you click this continue to launch, it gives you an option to change the EC2. Uh, so click continue to launch. Okay, everything keep as is. Uh, change this EC2 instance to uh, T2 Micro. Okay. Everything is kept as is. And make sure that uh, you have the key pair uh, in case you want to uh, log into EC2. Uh, so anyway, okay, let's click Launch. Okay, an instance of this software is successfully deployed on EC2. Um, so let's go to EC2 and we should see a new EC2 uh, spinning up. So you can click this EC2 console. So this T2 micro, uh, this is the instance. I'm just gonna name this as Jenkins, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video and come back once the EC2 is up and running. Okay, so uh, actually while the EC2 is coming up, uh, you need to have a, a user ID and a password uh, to log into the Jenkins. So to get your user ID and password, uh, click this uh, usage instructions. Okay, so uh, the default software administrator is user and the password is not uh, given here. So I'm gonna show you how to get your password. Okay, so the EC2 is up. So let me show you how you can uh, get the password. So select the instance that came up and then click actions, instance settings, and then uh, get system log. Okay, so after you scroll down a little bit, you should see a thing like this. 
uh, setting bitnami application password to this so copy this and keep it in uh, one of your scratch pad or something and it also gives the username okay so we got the username and password um, so now what you're gonna do is copy this public IP okay so let's open a new tab okay let's paste the public IP press enter okay so this is actually running in the EC2 so you can uh, give your username and the password okay keep me sign in click sign in you should get a screen like this uh, so go with install suggested plugin uh, and then I'm gonna show you how you can find any other plugins um, including the cloud formation plugin okay click this okay you can copy this and save this as well click save and finish okay click restart okay so you should see a, a screen like this so now uh, let me show you how you can install any other plugin okay click uh, manage Jenkins and then uh, click manage plugins okay click available pretty uh, straightforward uh, it's pretty intuitive okay now uh, search cloud formation okay ignore this warning for now okay click install without restart you can restart Jenkins okay now go back to the top page okay so before we go uh, create a new job in Jenkins uh, so you have to make sure you have a github uh, repository uh, so I'm using my personal repository I have this cloud cloud formation dash demo and then uh, under this uh, repository I have this uh, simplest s3 cft json so if I click this it's just creating a s3 bucket uh, I did not assign any name so it's gonna um, assign the name automatically and then I'm just gonna output the name okay so um, pretty straightforward I'm gonna give the link to this file in the resources section uh, so that you can copy paste this cloud formation if you want uh, okay so go back to Jenkins and then click uh, create new jobs okay uh, so you get uh, multiple options so there are different kinds of jobs in Jenkins uh, so one is this freestyle project uh, this is the most popular type of jobs uh, it can combine with the source control management build system etc and then we have pipeline and etc so for this one uh, we are going to use a freestyle project uh, let's put a name CFT demo does Jenkins plugin okay click freestyle project click OK okay so if you scroll down you'll see the source code management so if you remember the big picture so this is Jenkins and it has to get the code from a code repository right so uh, we are using github for this one so uh, let's click git and now uh, remember I showed you that uh, I have my own repository uh, so basically click this so get the repository name control C go back here repository URL paste the URL and then credentials uh, so what you're gonna do is um, you're going to add and click Jenkins and then you you have to give your um, github user id and password and you can give keep these two fields blank okay so i already have them filled out so i'm just gonna put it here okay and then uh, if you scroll down so under this build environment you'll see this create aws cloud formation stack right so this is coming here because of the cloud formation plugin that we installed so if you click this question mark you will see from Jenkins cloud formation uh, plugin right uh, so click this create AWS cloud formation stack 
So here we are going to give the name of the CloudFormation template. Uh, so basically we are going to give this, copy this, go back, paste it, uh, give a stack name, Jenkins CFT plugin that S3, how about that? Okay, CloudFormation parameters, we don't have any for this one. I'm going to show you uh, one with parameters in the next demo. So this is the tricky part, AWS access key and AWS secret key. Uh, so what uh, the Jenkins does is uh, it calls the CloudFormation API using the secret key and access key. So basically, <laughs> uh, to minimize the risk, uh, you have to create a IAM user uh, who only has access to CloudFormation and S3 bucket. Uh, so if I go back, so uh, make sure you watch the IAM user role uh, video. Uh, but let me show you real quick. Uh, so type IAM, click users, click add user. You can name it Jenkins CFT user. Just click programmatic access, next permission. Uh, click attach existing policies directly. Type in cloud formation. AWS CloudFormation full access, and then just give S3, Amazon S3 full access. Uh, click review, click create user. Okay, so save this access key and secret access key. Okay, and then uh, paste it into the Jenkins job. So let me copy the access key, paste this here and then a secret access key, paste it here. Okay, uncheck the automatically delete the stack. I don't want my stack deleted. And uh, click save. Let's click uh, build now. We are gonna automate this in future as well, but for now let's manually trigger this. Click build now, and you should see it's running, and then click this uh, number one, and click console output. Uh, so this is where it's, you're gonna kind of see the system logs uh, of your job. So you can see it is uh, creating the CloudFormation stack, create in progress. Okay, so uh, it is done. So if we go back to uh, CloudFormation in AWS, okay, so this is the CloudFormation console. So this is the stack Jenkins CFT plugin dash S3. So if I click this, create complete, click output. So this is the bucket name that it created. Okay, so this video got way longer than I expected. So I'm going to put the next part on how to run CloudFormation uh, using pipeline on the next part. So look out for that. I have the content uh, recorded. I just have to edit it. So I'm probably gonna release it over this weekend. Um, so all right, so if you like this content, uh, please uh, like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.